All right. Um, in my previous re previous recording, I've spoke about uh, energy and frequency, and I want to link that with prayer because what a lot of people understand with prayer is there is an object out there or there's a certain outcome out there that you're longing for and you go to some building some shrine or temple whatever you make some effort and you plead with some deity or some entity to work, do something on your behalf and in exchange you pay either with devotion religious devotion or with an animal sacrifice or just by ritualistic behavior. That's the idea most people have about prayer. I'm telling you, that's not what real prayer is all about. The type of prayer I've just described is the pagan way of praying. And that way of praying has an impact, but that's not the way believers ought to pray because we don't belong to the world. So we don't belong to that pagan system. Okay. First of all, as I explained before, you send out a vibration and you also receive vibration from your environment. So, okay, I'm going to illustrate another thing because, as you know, if you've been watching my videos for a while, I enjoy giving illustrations you know, to teach things. Okay, let, let's, let's take, for example, Luigi. Luigi is Italian. He lives in Paris. He, he has his job over there in a cafe. And Luigi, he is a believer and he prays and prays. But he seems more stagnating while he's praying. So he begins to think about what he's praying for. And he notices that, hold on a minute, I'm still begging for some outcome. But hold on a minute, didn't the word say that? Because all your cares upon the Lord, because He takes care of you. Didn't the word say that when you pray, believe you have received and it will be yours? Didn't it say that you have to be in Christ and His word should abide in you, abide in you? You should abide in Him and His words in you. Then you can ask whatever you will and it shall be given unto you. So then Luigi began to think again. He began to he began to renew his mind with the promises. And then he began to speak out the promises. He began to speak out his health. He didn't pray for health. He'd speak out, I'm healthy. I'm blessed. I'm healed. Every cell of this body is operating perfectly fine. Every cell of this body is renewed every day. My physical youth is renewed every day. He began to queen the words, man. Every day he woke up. At a job, he was just friendly with other people doing his job. Outside of so he didn't bother any people with it, but he always, every day, decreed the words. And the thing was, Luigi noticed that most of the people around him, they spoke bad expectations around him. And it was when Luigi began to grow in the word and he began to operate more on the frequency of faith, that he began to sense how heavy those people around him were. When he still had the same mindset as those people, he didn't notice the heaviness and the weight of it. He didn't, re he didn't realize the load, but now that he is light, now that he is, don't ha now that he is free from all, all those burdens, now he's feeling the weight. And now, he real now anytime he's around someone who is speaking and decreeing bad outcomes, he's he becomes very uncomfortable and he wants to get out of there. And here's another thing. Luigi also noticed that some people feel threatened by him. He just enters a room and some people are already scared. Here's the deal. Luigi's vibration is high, active, alive. Theirs is stagnating, dead. So whenever a high vibration enters in, it's just as you have a room filled with darkness and then sunshine, bang, God enters in, begins to shine. It's frightening for those that are, are on the stagnating frequency. 
that's all something Luigi learned. And Luigi, he had some issues with finances, and he always wanted want to work more hours at a job when his boss did not want him to work extra hours because his boss was concerned with his physical health. And even by law, he was not permitted to work too much hours. So Luigi was looking for a second job also. Then one day Luigi decided, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. This is this this this, this is wrong. So Luigi began to imagine all his bills paid. He began to imagine. Um, his, he began to imagine a bonus around him. He began to imagine his fridge filled with exotic fruits and with meats and all kinds of del delicate food. He began to imagine himself with walking with new shoes. He began to imagine him holding plane tickets to the Caribbean. He began to imagine all of it. And he began to speak out as if those things are already there. Now, Luigi was not stupid. He knew the facts. He knew that he didn't have that much money on his bank account. So he did not go to purchase a plane ticket somewhere because he didn't have the money. So he's, he's not stupid. Okay. Yeah. Nevertheless, Luigi realized that, yes, you have the facts. The facts are there. There. I'm not going to be delusional, but I'm not going to meditate and, and attach myself to the facts. So he began to so he, he went to his job, he did all the things, he, had, he kept his responsibilities, and at the same time he was imagining greater outcomes. And he just began to speak those outcomes, he speak, speak them out. Well, within a few weeks, um, someone at the cafe decided to give a tip and this was a wealthy woman who whose car just broke down and she just went to the cafe to get a drink and she just picked up some cash and put it in Luigi's hand before she left. Well, the amount of money she put in his hand was about 50 euros. And Luigi thought, oh, that's good. So Luigi, Luigi had 50 euros extra and he decided to buy some he always enjoyed um, grapes and uh, and cutty fruits. We began to buy them. Then another two weeks passed by, and um, he was just riding on his motorcycle towards his job, and suddenly there was uh, there was an accident that happened before him, and this was not something good, but. At the accident, he offered to help, but police, but police officers told them, uh, "No, we we'll leave this to the people. Leave this for the ambulance uh, pers personnel." So he had to step back. But at that scene, he met someone who was into the uh, the tourist industry, and. There was a ticket available to Cuba. The individual that would go with them on the trip can consult, but now they can't go without uh, with, without that individual. So now they need to find a replacement within a few days. And Luigi heard about it and, and he informed about it and decided, "Whoa, that sounds good. The trip was only for 10 days. So for 10 days, he went to Cuba. And it was after he returned back from Cuba to Paris that he began to think, hold on a minute. I did not practice magic. I did not practice um, um, the dark arts. I'm not into witchcraft, all that crap. No. I did not rob people. I did not steal from people. I did none of that. I just, I was realistic and I applied what the words taught me to do. To, when you pray, believe that you already have it and it shall be yours. And I did not faint when things didn't happen immediately or it didn't happen the way I wanted. I kept on going, I kept on going, I kept on going. And Luigi, after two years, he begins to realize, hold on a minute, all the things I desired, they all happened. They didn't happen the way I expected them to happen. They didn't happen on my terms. I thought I need to get a better job to save some money 
because that's real, that's a realistic way to do it in the world. But it didn't happen that way. There were a lot of stuff that happened, very very unpleasant stuff that happened the past two years. But the, through all those unpleasant things, the things I prayed for manifested, and Luigi was overwhelmed by the fact of his faith. And Luigi also re began to understand why some of his former friends left him. Because now that he looks back, those former friends, people he used to hang out with, they operate on a negative frequency, they operate on a low frequency. And not only that, those people are hostile to change. They are used to that low frequency. And they do talk about wanting better, but they never really accept better. And because those people left Luigi, they were not around to become jealous nor envious and began to attack Luigi when the things were manifesting in his life. Because one thing Luigi understood that when things happen for you that normally don't happen to other people, other people don't want to accept that you are favored nor blessed. They are, are going to try to seek some rational, rational explanation for it based on their way of thinking, based upon the frequency they're operating on. And once they can't find an explanation based on their frequency, they'll begin to feel frightened by you, by you. they'll begin to hallucinate pain upon you. And now Luigi understood and he said, and he said, praise the Lord, thank you Father that those people left me. Thank you to remove them from me. Look. Prayer, in agreement with Christ, you operate on a high frequency, the frequency of faith. There is effort involved. The effort is involved is you agree with the word. You, you have your daily responsibilities that you continue to do. But despite your daily activities, you agree with the word. And listen, agreeing with the word is not easy in a world that's against the word. It's not easy to agree with the world in a world where there is in a world that's filled with a low with low vibration and in a world where you are resisted when you want to get out of that low vibration it's not easy that's why in the book of hebrews is written labor to enter into his rest it sounds like oxymoron labor to enter into his rest because rest means there's no labor or labor right no that's not what it means labor because you are being resisted when you want to operate on the frequency of feet but nevertheless you, you, how do I say it? You persevere. You, you renew your mind. You agree with the word. This, you keep doing your daily activities that you need to do to pay the rent, do all of that. But you're not permitting those daily responsibilities to distract you from agreeing with the word. And even when you notice there's resistance in your daily activities and circumstances tend to become more difficult, you continue in the word. That's laboring to enter into a stress. And after a while, it's automatically you have been cleansed from the world's way of thinking and automatically you, you respond by faith. That's it to labor to enter into his rest because it's in his rest that you operate on the high frequency. It's in his rest that manifestation of prayers happen. It's in his rest. The religion teaches you to work to earn. Yes, there is physical effort, like you go to your job, to, you get your wage, you pay the rent. There are, there are practical things, of course, but you don't rely on, but those practical things are not your source. The Lord is your source. And those practical things you do, you do that because you're in the world just for practical, just for the practical you're doing them. But you're not identifying with those practical things. Religion, however, tells you that you need to push harder, sweat harder, earn harder, pray harder. No, no, no. Rest. Learn to rest in his finished work and his promise. That's the frequency you should operate on. And listen, when you operate on that frequency, you're operating on the frequency of peace, the frequency of joy, the frequency of satisfaction. Let's say the frequency of holiness, of righteousness, of goodwill. There's no darkness at all. There's no negativity on the frequency. So anyone that can't handle the frequency, you already know something's wrong with an individual. Whether they're demon possessed, oppressed, or depressed, I, it, does, it doesn't concern you. Operate on the frequency of faith. That being said, you all be at peace.